Hello once again everybody and welcome back. I'm Necromanticer and today we are finally going to be meeting this Professor Langford here in Rapture. Andrew Ryan has just completed his decimation of the trees here in Rapture. Oh, and it would seem we've got a big daddy coming around. I want to remember him. Oh, is that a splicer as well? Let's make sure we deal away with him. Oh. Looks like that's a scripted event, so that splicer is leading us somewhere. They dress up in leaves and call themselves the Saturnine. Please. They drink human blood and chant, Harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient gods. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it ambrosia. Well, it would seem Langford is no fan of these here Saturnine. You uh, try for the oh, Saturnine. there we go. That's what we're looking for. Houdini splicers. That would certainly explain the popping all over the place. And now I get some extra damage for... Oh. If I could hit, that is. Where'd he go? Where'd he nip off? There we are. Come on. One nice headshot's all it takes, especially now that I have the... Ooh, chlorophyll solution again. Oh, and we have little sister. Oh, temptation strikes once again. Let's see. Yeah, there. that's the last little sister for the level. So if we could take care of that, we could just not even have to worry about the big daddies for the rest of our time here. Let's see. I have enough proximity mines, and I have some grenade, some really? RPGs. So yeah, you know, I think I think this would be a good engagement. Let's let's take this on. Switch to my frag grenades, because otherwise that little sister, being an idiot, is going to lead him in. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're good. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. That's it. You asked for this. I just want you to remember that. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Let's get out of here. There we are. Thank you, RPG turret. That is exactly what I wanted. Keep him nice and stunned, locked down. The RPG turret should finish him off. Rather nicely. Wonderful. That's exactly what we were looking for. Oh. Humbug. But that is exactly what we were looking for. Get a nice little picture of our little sister here. Get some nice little research on her. Photographer's eye. And we're already halfway to the next one. Now for the little bit of a rescue operation. It's okay. You'll be just fine. And that's another 80 Adam in her pocket. Great. Just once more. Just because she looks supplicant. There we go. And this Rosie has a lot of cash, which is great because we burned a lot of it near the end of last episode. So really great progress already. Really nice stuff going on here. Nothing in the rivet gun. That's kind of sad, but now let's go meet up with Langford and see what she has to say to us about the trees here in Rapture. My trees! It wasn't you, was it? No. Ryan! I think I've got a way to save the trees. It's a genetic vector that... I'm talking to. Hey. Could you find a sample of Rosa Gallica for me? Look in the grotto. I've got to keep working while there's time. Well, since you ask so nicely. No, it really is in my best interest. Oh, hello. <laughs> Looks like we've got a little welcoming party. And I can take pictures of each and every one of them. With all these wonderful multiple subject bonuses going about. There we go. New physical tonic sports boost. In dangerous times, a little quicker on the draw. Okay, it sounds like it just increases our speed a little bit, which sounds like it will be a lot better than hackers to Oh, shit. There we go. See, you like these apples. Oh, come on, one more, one more. There we are. You can just go to hell and die. There we have it. Nice little engagement there. Let's see what they've got. Not a whole lot, but I will take it. I will take it to the bank, in fact. Let's heal ourselves up. 
and follow this here objective beacon because it should be leading us right. Uh, let's make sure everything's reloaded at the same time. Okay. Onwards, I suppose. Oh, and a nice little first aid kit to compensate me for my troubles. Now, Langford said we needed a Rosa Gallica, and while she doesn't really give us any context as to what that is, what she was talking about was those vibrant red roses that we saw at one point in the last episode. Oh, come on, guys. He didn't do anything to you. Kill the poison, kill the poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let me just snap a little picture here. Let's see what we get. Now I've got even more damage. These guys are an absolute joke. They're thuggish splicers. They're not going to touch me. I get to just loot them at my leisure. There's, there was one more again. There we go. Oh, and they give me a free plasmid? What luck. Security evasion. It just makes it so that turrets and cameras take a little bit longer to lock on to you. And it is with very good reason that they actually hand that to us at this point. Because the section we're about to head into is rife with dangers. I believe I've already found this, but I didn't take the time to hack it. And I've got a bunch of new stuff in the meantime. So let's try and hack this and see what we can get now that we have a little bit of stuff to use on it. There, there, one last little vertical slice. Bingo. Let's increase that flow speed and see what we can make here. Okay, you can make auto hack tools, but <laughs> I have no use for those. Exploding buck, which I, I actually would like. More anti-personal rounds and some armor piercing auto rounds. So let's get some of that explosive buck and we'll just save the rest of our stuff for later. Time to actually head on in and see what's out and about here. More of those tripwire traps. There we go. The machine gun is probably not the most accurate weapon. Not the most accurate weapon, so you might not want to... Oh dear, you see, this is... This is why they gave us that tonic, because we are heading into an absolute hornet's den of turrets. I might want to... Now, ah, let's just take the damage. There we go. I might want to take the time to uh, photograph these guys while they're not friendly, but at the same time, I don't recall anything specific about turret upgrades being very useful outside of just doing more damage to turrets, so I don't think that's going to be something I pursue. Oh, this is a mean little hack setup. They're making you absolutely have to go around here, but I manage it pretty okay. They didn't give me enough of the... Pr oh my god. Oh god. You see, that's why they handed us that tonic, because that camera right there is the absolute dickens. No, no, no. We're not having any of that. I'm hacking you, and you're gonna serve me now. Doesn't matter who you were designed to be protecting, but now you're on my side. And trust me, it's a lot better than being on anyone else's side, because I don't die very often. Everyone else can't really make that claim. It's a very high mortality rate here in Rapture, and given what's all going on, it's pretty clear to see why. And, if I believe there's still a turret around here somewhere, but... Oh! There is, there is indeed. But let's pick up some of this wonderful loot. I really wish that was still in effect, because I could really use... Oh, there it is. Let's, let's actually get a picture of that one. That should be... One of the first one. Oh, one more just to get that last little bit of research. There we go. Oh, okay, that's nice little bonus. Not that I do much destroying of turrets, but it's pretty okay. Remember, there's that over there. And now it's on my side. Sadly, my turret is going to take a little bit to... Oh, that's not good. Anytime that they get you in a little trap like that, is very, very tricky of them. Very annoying to deal with. Okay, one more vertical slice, and we're good. That's our hack. But 
Anytime that they, uh... Ooh, there's a proximity mine? Where did that come from? I have no idea, but I'll take it. Now then, we need one of those Rosa Gallica, but... Considering this is... Oh, thank you very much. Considering this is a story section, it's probably going to trigger an ambush, so let's listen to this first. Gregory, don't come whining to me about market forces, and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. That was Ryan's original outlook on the problem, and that's the one that's most consistent with his worldview, but at the same time, he quickly learned that that was not going to do him any favors when dealing with Fontaine. I couldn't believe how much things had changed since I left Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan how could he do such things to innocents. He said, innocents, if they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes, and there are criminals. Hmm, it's absolutely chilling the story they tell here. It really is just so sad. Really terrible things happen because it was such an idyllic place. Like, look around at Arcadia before yes, yes, yes. or when we restore it. It's absurd. Just give but me a minute. This was a beautiful area. Lazarus tests are very promising. If the Rosa Gallica bloom, then by God I know we're in business. Hurry, the lockdown! Hmm? All right, I'm leaving. But somebody has to find a way to come back to check on these samples. They're very important. Yes, these here pixelated roses. Very, very important. Oh, oh God. Come on. Come off it. And you've got coffee. Luckily, I had the foresight to grab up both of these uh, security... Well, pretty much all of the security assets in here, and now that was a very smart idea on my part because, of course, as it's a story section, there was an ambush afterwards, but as I was saying, this is, even after the, quote, fall of Rapture, it's still a very idyllic environment. It's absolutely beautiful. So just vibrant and stylized. This, this would have been a wonderful utopia. Except for it was populated by people. And as we all know, people ruin everything. Let's let's start using my shotgun some. Anything I particularly want? Mm, I don't think so. We can still hold off on spending any of this new atom until we unlock some more plasmids. I kind of disagree with some of the uh, gated content when it comes to the plasmids, how you have to wait for specific areas later in the game in order to unlock certain plasmids, but it makes sense from a gameplay perspective. Well, hello, what have we here? Another one of these <laughs> refuge areas for those Houdini splicers, it would seem, so let's see if we can snap any pictures of the Lighters as they try and ambush. Oh, hello. Like I said, Houdini Splicers, really annoying. One more action shot. Hopefully that, yes, it brings us up to the next research level. Natural camo. Oh, this is actually a very nice one, but I don't have room for it just yet. So I'm going to store that. Oh, missed him just barely. But it actually allows you to camouflage yourself if you hold still for long enough. God, I'm really taking a beating out here. I'm going to need to find some sort of vending machine pretty soon. Otherwise, I'm going to be completely SOL here. I'm getting really, really low on my... pretty much all my equipment. And that's not good, but I get the... I get the chlorophyll solution for here. Is there anywhere else? No, I believe that's everything in this cave. So, let's let's head on then. Return back to the 
good doctor. Miss Langford is expecting us, after all. We have her little rose that she was so intent on returning to. And now let's see what that does for us with our standing in her eyes. You've brought the Rosa Gallica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it through the new mode. Well, there you go, lady. No need to get your knickers in a twist. Yes, this is perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm letting you in now. I think I've got just the thing to put the green back in this forest. Don't mind if I do. Hacking expert tonic, eh. It's okay. It's nothing too, too great. Nothing to write home about. I'll just store that. Isn't there anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National so Geographic. They're Come on up to my office. Disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick Thankfully enough, doctor. she's willing to play nice and. Realizes we're not those silly Houdini slicers that have been splicers that have been causing her so much trouble. So, let's work on getting all this Who hacked up while we have a moment. Down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, it's that tough gene times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. Just reinforcing the importance of Adam and what it did for science. This lady was a Vietnam, Vietnam, World War II. She was working on defoliating projects, but, oh, circle of, circus of values, that's what we wanted. And I am auto-hacking that because that is way too difficult, but there we go. Much, much better. And some pistol rounds, anything else? No, I'm pretty much good on all my other equipment, but there we go. But with Adam, she was actually able to completely reverse her work. Some electric gel, that's some good stuff right there and actually managed to refoliate and plant all these wonderful trees that make rapture possible. Now in case you weren't paying attention there's a lot of security back there and that's not there for no reason. But let's see what's what's going on with Surely her. we made a business deal you and I did we not? Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. Section 3, subsection 4. No, Mr. Oh dear. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus vector. Ownership is civilization. Wait, no, please. Without it, we're back in the swamp. Uh, Mr. Ryan! <laughs> goodness. With her last moments, giving us what we need. Nine, four, five, seven. With with a little bit of death at the end there. That's important. Every time we get a yard ahead, Ryan goes and moves the goal line down to the other side of the field. This baby right here, this is a nice piece of kit. This is a flamethrower, liquid nitrogen little jet stream here that can freeze enemies and it even has electro gel which zaps enemies with a little arc at the end there very very powerful weapons one of my favorites really great for churning out consistent dps but let's let's open up this here oh now i've already forgotten it what was it nine four five seven there we go snap that all the way up to nine Four and seven. Open that up, and we have another thing. But let's listen to the other one first. See if there's anything I've been around here. Twenty-five years oh. at Berkeley back in the twenties on the Japs at Iwo Jima, but I never brought one back from the grave before. I did, Becky. Mama's gonna build her first damn Franken tree. I'm gonna call 
my little creation, the Lazarus Vector. Maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well. Quite the optimist she was. But yes, she created the Lazarus Vector, which was made to point of being a damn genius bring trees back to life. around to appreciate it or a bunch of spliced up morons. I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. Let's get the drop on these guys, and yep. Turns out we have ourselves our first fetch quest of the game. It's not so bad, but uh, neither is it ideal. And it's not quite a fetch quest, because it is getting us some very int- Ooh, dear. Let's, let's, let's get that out of the way. There we go. It gets us a lot of really good stuff, and really takes us through some beautiful environments, but in the end, it is... It is what it is, and while I wish that they had been a little bit more clever about it, there's only so much you can do in a video game. There, It is a sort of constricted medium in that you have to... <laughs> a wrench, just for no reason. Oh, no, 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 I don't want anything to do with that. But it is a constricted medium in that you have to... There we go. Oh. You do have to... Oh, that was a bad idea. I meant to switch to my camera, and I failed utterly. But you have to give the player a consistent narrative. You have to keep things going. Whereas with... I don't know. Say, a movie, you can tell the story how you best see fit. You don't always have to have uh, events playing out in a certain sensical order. Whereas with video games, you do have to keep the player engaged no matter what. You can't have moments where the player is wondering, like, the hell's going on? Otherwise, they're just going to set the game down and walk away. Which I've done on a few games, just because, I don't know, they didn't catch my interest. And that is one of the things about video games, is that you do need to catch the player's interest, and you need to hold it, or by golly, they're going to play a different one. Movies are a lot simpler to sit through since it's not engaging at all. At least, it has no uh, need for you to be giving order and direction to the game. But at the same time, it's a lot shorter as well. You don't have to sit and watch a movie for eight hours at a time. No one's expecting a movie to last for anywhere near that long. And while that makes sense for the medium, it's it's not true of video games, and it requires a little bit more of the developers in order to create a workable uh, product in the end. Let's see. Let's head on out and start looking for those multi-part objectives that they introduced Arcadia's us to. A big place, but mostly rural. If you're looking for something in particular, I'd start at the farmer's market. Yeah, it's the farmer's market. That's what's going to really be an interesting area. I, I love the design. Yeah, Mark will come back. Mm. Oh dear. Hello, buddy. What are you doing here? More damage? Ow, oh, come off it. Would you st He's dead! He's dead! You can stop! It's okay! I appreciate the enthusiasm, but goodness. Not with me so close. And as I was saying, the farmer's market is coming up next, and that's an area that I really like. It's fraught with secrets, alternate passageways, and a bunch of really worthwhile loot that I really adore. Oh dear. Let's, uh, let's get the armor-piercing rounds out so that I can pop that off. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. And you, my dear, can suck it. Oh, come on. I even got a headshot, and she didn't fall? Fine. There we go. Much better. Replace some of those pistol rounds, and keep heading on in. Am I missing anything here? Doesn't look like it. 
Let's keep going then. This corpse, absolutely nothing. What's in here? Arcadia Glens. Oh, this place. Let's just grab that up. This little corridor area. Very nice place. And while everything has this very dead and sunken look to it now, it's going to be great it's coming back. Oh. Fanatics. It's going to be great coming back through here when uh, we have restored the trees and can see the place in its true beauty. Now, I'm going to take a moment to use this here you invent station. Not you invent, but power to the people station and consider what I want. It seems like the main weapons I'm using are my pistol and my machine gun with a little bit of shotgun thrown in there, so I think I'm probably going to go with either machine gun damage increase or the shotgun rate of fire because that seems to be one of the issues I've been having. But I don't know, I don't know. I haven't had anything to do with the chemical thrower just yet, so I might want to use that as well. I really like the napalm. And so I'm, I'm going to consider that, but let's just go with something I know I'm going to use. This will upgrade the damage. It tacks on a little bit of a strange mechanism to the back. And I think this is going to be a great place to stop it. We've got the farmer's market coming up, and I am absolutely looking forward to that area. It's a really fun level to play through, really great design, and I hope that I can bring that to you in our next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Consider liking, subscribing, commenting if you have any feedback or things you want to bring up about the game. I love to engage in the comments, and I will be seeing you all next time. Have a great day.